Good morning. Let's do that one more time. Good morning. Good morning. That's what I'm talking about. All right. You know, it's funny that uh, Tom picked today to film this because, you know, as a topic today, I actually, I actually picked a kind of a self-depreciating topic, which is what's wrong with me. It's kind of, kind of an odd topic. <laughs> you know, have you guys ever asked yourself why me? Yeah. Has anybody ever had that question? I don't know about you, but a lot of my friends from high school, man, they're not in the same place I am. Some of them are in pretty bad places, you know, and if I go back to high school and I think about the people I hung out with, I really don't see a big difference between them and me. You know, there wasn't. We were friends, right? We were hanging out. So why me? Why am I here and they're there? It's funny, but you know, you see that question asked many times. As a matter of fact, in, 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 in the military, it's one of the biggest causes of PTSD, right? Why did I survive? Why am I here? When others have fallen off, friends, <laughs> in jail, worse? Well, that's a good question. And I think there's a reason. God doesn't pick perfect people. God does not pick perfect people to carry his message out and to give it to other people. And you know, in my mind, everything we do every day is carrying that message out. The work we do, the interaction we have with people is carrying that message out. And you carry a good message or you carry a bad message. And I'll tell you what I mean. If you look at Abraham in the Old Testament, you look at Peter in the New Testament. Neither one of them were perfect. But he built the nation of Israel on one and the rock of his church on the other one. And these are people that were broken. And you know who was broken? I was. I was as low as you can go. Who here's faced adversity? Huh? Who here's faced trouble? Well, I have a theory about this. God gives you talent. He gives you gifts. But he doesn't give you the will to use them properly. And unfortunately, with talent and gifts come the desire to do many things, including make yourself happy. And for me, that took me down a road to the bottom. But when I got to the bottom, I realized something. Steel is forged in fire. How many people here have been to the bottom? How many people here know what the bottom looks like? Okay. How many people here are talented? Everybody better raise their hand. Because if you're not talented, you don't belong here. Talent is a gift, and with gift comes responsibility. <clears throat> There's opportunity in talent, but responsibility. How many people have heard that with great gifts come great responsibility? <clears throat> so how are you using your gifts? What are you doing every day? Are you getting here every day and using your gifts responsibly? Are you using your gifts to take care of your family like it says to? Because who's your biggest responsibility? Your family, your children, your coworkers. Guys, I, I would even tell you that the heartbeat of success is found at the bottom, not at the top. Okay, if you've never been to the bottom, if you don't know what it feels like to lose, then you're not really sure what winning feels like. You have to get to the bottom to know what it is to rise up, to know what it is to come all the way up to the top and be successful. Guys, everyone in this room is successful. I know your stories. I know how you got here because I've talked to you and I felt it with you. And for what it's worth, I'm proud of every one of you for getting here and sitting in this room with us. I really am. With great gifts, I've realized come great mistakes. With great mistakes comes great opportunity. With great opportunity, you have to realize that every day when you go out there, God needs soldiers. God needs people that go out there that every day show everyone else out there what in here is like. How many times have you heard me tell you that the one thing I can't teach you is to care about people? That's what I'm talking about, guys. 
You have to care about the people you're talking to. You have to care about each other. If you don't care about each other, and you don't care about the people you're talking to, then you can't sell. Because they can tell when they talk to you. They can tell that you either know and care about what their needs are, or you're just there trying to sell them something because you don't care. Guys, I'm going to tell you something. There's great people in this room. Okay? You guys have done more with less than any group of people I've ever run into in my life. And I, for one, look forward to the things that we're going to do this year. I'm going to tell you something right now that I got out of this last, this last couple of weeks. And that is when I started selling cars, all I wanted to do was go out there and find someone and help them and sell a car. Okay? I know what it felt like to sell that first car. Who remembers what it felt like to sell the first car? Did you get, did you get a lift off of it? Did it make you feel better? Yeah. Guys, let me tell you something. That very first car you sold is, the, is just this next car. It's that next customer that's coming in here. All they want is you to go out there and take care of them and care about them and help them find a car that fits their budget, that takes care of their family. Guys, sell your first car today. Sell your very first car today. If everyone goes out there and acts like they're selling the very first car they ever sold, I'm going to tell you something, guys. We'll set a record for how many cars we sell because they'll pick up on that. People love these. We're going to sell 